Hello students, welcome to the next lecture of the circle. In previous lecture, we started discussion about different cases of two circles. Here, also we are continuing with the same theory. Look at the next point and that is about disjoint circles. What are disjoint circles? When two circles uh, are not intersecting each other or even not meeting each other, not touching each other, then those circles are called as disjoint circles. They don't have any point common between them. So check the diagram carefully. C1 and C2 are centers of two circles. R1 and R2 are their radius. So this length is R1. And this length is R2. R2 is radius of the second circle. Then what is the condition for disjoint circles? It is length C1, C2 is greater than R1 plus R2. Then circles are disjoint circles. Again I repeat, disjoint means they don't have any point common between them. Now how many common tangents possible for these disjoint circles? So these are two direct common tangents for the disjoint circles. These are uh, direct common tangents. What I mean by direct common tangents, both the circles lie on the same side of the tangent. Those are direct common tangents. But I am observing two more common tangents and those are called as these, these tangents are called as then uh, transverse common tangents. And what we discussed as for transverse common tangents. When two circles lie on different sides, then those are called as transverse common tangents. So if you observe for this uh, tangent, one circle this way, another circle this way, that is called as transverse common tangents. So, two direct and two transverse, total four common tangents are possible when circles are disjoint circles. So, this is what you have to remember. Two tangents are direct common tangents and two tangents are transverse common tangents. Total four common tangents are possible for these disjoint circles. Now, here is the next possibility that is one circle completely lie inside the other. Look at the diagram. These are two circles. C1 is the center for the first. C2 is the center for the second. R1 is the radius for the first circle. So this length is R1. And R2 is the radius for the second. So R2 means this length. It is the radius for the second circle. Now, what is the condition for one circle lie completely inside the other? Now, in this case also, circles are not touching, they are not intersecting, they don't have any point common. So, one circle lie completely inside the other. And here theory is length C1, C2 is less than mod of R1 minus R2. This is the theory for one circle lie completely inside the other. See, in diagram I have shown R1 greater than R2. But may be possible in exam that the value of R1 comes smaller than R2. And that's the reason why I have put that R1 minus R2 inside the modulus. Now, if somebody asks about number of common tangents, then here one should say no common tangent possible in this case. One can observe that uh, in this diagram. No common tangent exists for one circle lie completely inside the other circle. Now, this was the theory for uh, two circles. In last lecture, we discussed three topics like uh, two circles intersect each other, uh, two circles touch each other internally, or two circles touch each other externally. While in this lecture, we discussed about disjoint circles and one circle lie completely inside the other circle. So, these are the five topics we discussed. Now, let us check one question based on this theory. Question is, Number of common tangents that can be drawn to two circles x square plus y square is equal to 6x and x square plus y square plus 6x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 is. Now how many common tangents possible? That is what they have asked. 
look at the solution. So I have written equation of first circle. Now this equation I can compare with the general equation of the circle. After comparison, we can write the value of 2g as minus 6. So g becomes minus 3. 2f is 0. So ultimately f is 0 as well as c is also 0. Now what is center of the circle? So center of the circle is minus g comma minus f. So here it becomes 3 comma 0. For the radius of the circle, formula is root of g square plus f square minus c. So according to that formula, the radius here is 3 units. This procedure I will repeat for the second circle. After comparing it with the general form, you can write the value of 2g is 6, so g is 3. 2f value is 2, so f value is 1. And the value of c is 1. Now what is center in this case? Center is minus 3 comma minus 1. And radius according to root of g square plus f square minus c, if I put values, I get it as root of minus 3 the square plus minus 1 the square minus 1. Now after simplification, this uh, minus 1 square will be 1, this and this will get cancelled and you will simply have 3 units as the radius for the second circle. Now for both these circles, I obtained their centers as well as radius. So just check for the circles. Centers and radius obtained are for the first circle center is 3 comma 0 radius is 3 for the second circle center is minus 3 comma minus 1 and radius is 3. Now in next step I would like to get length c1 c2 by distance formula. So it is minus 3 minus 3 the whole square plus minus 1 minus 0 the whole square inside the root. Now what this will be see this becomes minus 6 square that is 36 and this is simply minus 1 square that is 1. So the value what I obtained is root of 37. Now observe one can easily understand that r1 plus r2 is 6 and length c1 c2 is greater than r1 plus r2 because length c1 c2 what I understand is root of 37 and r1 plus r2 is 6. So one can easily conclude length c1c2 is greater than r1 plus r2. Then what exactly the types of circles is? If you understand, then the diagram will be something like this. Length the c1c2 is greater than r1 plus r2. That means I can say circles are disjoint circles. If circles are disjoint circles, then there are four common tangents possible four common tangents possible in this case and then uh, one can say uh, number of common tangents are four so your correct answer is option one check whether you understood this one or not we have to just understand what is the type so length c1 c2 is greater than r1 plus r2 that means i can say that two circles are disjoint circles and for disjoint circles, two direct and two transverse common tangents exist. So total number of common tangents are four. I hope all of you understood this. So this is what the theory, application of this theory in problems. I hope all of you understood this. Here we stop. Thank you to you all.